So here's a new little demo uh, for the the last update of your <coughs> add-on uh, procedural HDR lighting. Uh, so what's new? Uh, the light have been enhanced. Uh, so for the demo, I just just have uh, one camera uh, shooting this scene, and to see this one settings uh, like this, I just I just use uh, a camera with these settings. So let's see. We, we I'm just in panoramic and equirectangular. This is only uh, <coughs> we, c we can just do this for our cycles for now. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, equirectangular doesn't work in <coughs> for for EV. So <coughs> you can see uh, here. I can choose in view. In view mode, I can choose the camera I want to see through. So I ping this one, and to <coughs> not seeing the the different geometry, <coughs> I just say local collection and disable the the collection where the the geometry is. So I get this, and I can see every settings I can do, and here I can see the the render results. <coughs> so. Here's a demo. We have several settings. You can switch to EV, but uh, this will not be a real uh, equirectangular. But it's pretty cool for the settings because you can you can switch it in real in real time. Everything's work the same, and you keep the settings uh, through uh, when when, we when you switch uh, through cycles. I like this one. The, the light is so cool here. Uh, if you switch to cycles, it's really much more beautiful. And uh, here, what I want I want to show you uh, the news. So there's now a background blur. So this is a trick. Uh, there's no real functionality for blur in a Blender, unfortunately. Uh, so this is not perfect blur, but it works pretty cool. It you can have some pretty nice effects. And this affects lighting, of course. So let's put it to zero, and uh, uh, I can show you uh, the different lights. Yeah, let's see the lights. I will switch off the window, and uh, what's new for the lights? Now uh, the different uh, different settings are now in degrees. So by default, if you put it to zero, 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 uh, it's on top, and oh. and if I turn this to uh, uh, ninety, it's yeah. So it works pretty cool like this, and I can spin it to forty-five. Okay, yeah, that's much more easier. And uh, what's new for these lights? There's no uh, divisions, so it's like uh, it's give uh, some something like neons effects. Uh, you can put uh, zero, uh, just one division is not division at all. Uh, or actually, it's not uh, division; it's pretty uh, much more parts, two parts, polygons. And uh, you can do a really cool tricks with this. You can do neons, or you can do uh, a LED panel. And this <coughs> give pretty nice uh, uh, detail uh, in the reflection. This is what is what is important in the in this product is to create some uh, some details in the in the reflection, so to have uh, something much more much more realistic. And of course, you can add uh, as in as many lights as you want. I can show you with the many lights in the last settings. Yeah, so we have uh, ten lights around the scene with uh, different settings. You can you can tweak it uh, as you want. Uh, so that's it. Uh, what you want, what we want to see, uh, there's uh, you can you can have now uh, 
some uh, some lights in the in the in the sky view too. So that's pretty. Is you can create some pretty pretty nice tricks you know, with this. This is a uh, uh, a good thing. Uh, and the uh, background blur is working too. For the sky. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.